Very, very strange music. For a very different game we're about to play. I guess we'll have to see if the music matches the uh, the tempo. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to the channel to a brand new game that just released. The Withering Rooms. From what I understand, it is a 2.5D kind of style game. Uh, it also is very much Souls-like, so if, you, if you're currently watching The Last Faith, it's something like that. Um, from what I can see, there's a lot of gore. And you know this channel, we eat that stuff up. So we're about to see if the game uh, matches, like, will live up to be what we want it to be. But it's also a Lovecraftian game. Itchy nose, I just shaved. <laughs> Prologue. Wow. Oh. Left clicked or space. Oh, 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 oh. Oh. Ooh, okay. L okay. Andy, some furniture can be interacted with E. Oh, just we just go. We just we just go. There's there's just that's it. We just go. Can I interact with that? No. Oh, hello. A corpse in a cage. It's blocking. Oh, one clock. Oh, oh, oh. Some furniture you can use to hide. Stay hidden until the monster passes. Oh! Oh! How to adjust the volume in my headset. Yo! What is that twitching it is doing? So some furniture, but not all. Crouch his ass, sneak left, and sneak right. Interesting. Grandfather clock, there's a keyhole in the front. Okay, so we need a key. Oh, 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 oh. Press F near. Stop peeking. Oh, so we can peek into like the next room. Okay, okay. So there is a stealth mechanic to this game. Let's see here. Stop hiding, sneaking away. Okay. What we got here? More, just more sneaky stuff. Okay. What to do? What to do? Hmm. <clears throat> I can tell you, uh, what to do is to uh, not get caught by that thing. Oh, is it gone? Peter? Oh, uh, uh, no, I'm not Peter. I'm most definitely not Peter. <laughs> oh. What is this place? Uh, the, the, uh, the, a, a terrible place. A very, very terrible place. How long has it been? Okay, go, 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 go. He has a key. I want that key on his back. What is this? Oh, uh, dude, I'm gonna be real. I'm kind of bad at reading cursive to keep him from wandering the grounds. I've locked the gatehouse door. I nailed a spare key into his back. In case you need it, you'll have to be sneaky and additional, uh, as an additional safeguard, I'll cast a spell in the front garden of the mansion. No undead may pass through. If you're out there, check for the glowing white sigil above the door to make sure it's still working. Your ever loving daughter, Margaret. Okay, so that key he had on his back, we do need. It is, it is confirmed, we do need that key. So we're gonna wait for him to return. Right? Sounds like he's coming ever closer. So we just have to grab the key on his back, man. And then the clock, I'm guessing. Okay, yep, there he is. He's coming. We just need the key. Alright, 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 alright. So many years. The key to the front of the... Did you misplace this key again? Oh. 
you don't you don't know me. You don't know me. I don't know you. Go through. Close it. Yep, let's close this. Now we I'm guessing we use the key right here. No. No. No, we don't. I forgot to set the traps. What traps, homie? Can I uh Oh, there's Priscilla? Well, I'm not. I'm not Priscilla. Uh, I, I I can tell you right now, homie. The uh, you have the uh, trap. What? Oh no, go go back in. Close the door. We almost got caught there, but that's okay. Oh, we can. Oh, okay. We can run. Okay. Okay. Sweet. Okay. Well, that lock is broken. Okay. All right, all right. So we're running. We have no tools, and we're just running. Oh, we can hide in this bush. What are we hiding from? That's the real question. What What are we hiding from? Is this the front? Do we peek? Do we... Looks like it's safe. Mm, you're lying to me. Those things are gonna come out and uh grab me, aren't they? Those two. We, we, hi, uh, search, okay, we got some cheese, you look lost, first time in the dream, yeah, kinda, I'm Beck, I'm afraid you've stumbled into something you probably shouldn't have, we have a sort of celebration to welcome a new member of our little club, you see, we're witches, in the dreary walking world, there's no magic, but here, magic is real. Uh, I'm sure it's all terribly confusing. Yeah, it is. Uh, you need to go talk to the first witch. She's our leader. You'll find her up ahead on by the fireplace. Just answer any questions uh, she has truthfully, and I'm sure everything will be fine. Oh, and feel free to grab a slice of cake. It's delicious. Well, I already uh. Grabbed a slice of uh, chocolate cake, so uh, thank you. By the fireplace, right? Mm, the first switch. You are not supposed to. Okay, well, I was told to come here. So, are you patient here at the. No? What? Sorry, what? Uh, what? Oh, we have to do it all over again? But everything's different now. What the, like, what's, what's going on here? Why, why is everything different? Oh, 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 oh. Okay. Uh, roll. Search for exit. Mmm. It's locked. Okay. I don't trust you. Uh, yeah, we just, um... Yeah, you just kind of just phased into the room. Also, who is that bitch that, like, set us on fire? I like to observe new arrivals to make sure they're not violently deranged before allowing them out of their room. I'm Margaret Blackett. Well, so far, I don't trust the other witch. I trust you. Um, and I share an administration of this asylum with my father, Dr. Robert Blackett. Your name is Nightingale, isn't it? Let me first deeply apologize uh, to you for being set on fire as soon as you arrived here. I assure you, the responsible the responsible part has been severely reprimanded. All right, I like you then. I'm not familiar with your case history, but you may be wondering if uh, this is all a delusion. I can assure you that it's not. 
You've been drawn here by a phenomenon unique to Monsty House. I don't know what that means. Uh, it's sort of a dream or nightmare weeks will pass uh, here during a single night in the real world. Uh, I'm sure you have questions I'll answer as best as I'm able to. Magic. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's do magic. In order uh, to inv uh, in order to invisibly observe you earlier, I use a spirit twig. Simply by snapping the twig in my hand, I am able to briefly move in and out as if I were a phantom. In the real world, magic is a province of charlatans. But remarkably, in the dream, magic is real. Yeah, like, you know, power of believing. Uh, I'm a novice magic user. You'll want to seek out a filthy witch to learn more. Uh, uh, escaping. The mythology of waking up from the dream is not well understood. Some wake with ease, while others w with only a vague memory of what occurred here. Others are trapped indefinitely. Their uh, comatose bodies will sl slowly rot in the real world. Dying in the dream uh, provides no release. You'll simply awake anew. So if we die, we just wake up in like a new body then. Uh, dangerous. As those trapped in the dream rot in the real world, they turn into deranged to living corpses here. Unfortunately, the dream accumulates much more unpleasant residents each year. As such, it's critical that you avoid attention until you are properly armed with tools to defend yourself. While dying in the dream is a temporary affair, the experience is still horrible. You must be careful. That's it. I'll let you explore then. The mansion reconfigures itself each night, but you should be able to find me in the study easily, though. I'll leave you with a key to this room and make uh, make my exit in a different way. Oh, and Nightingale. Don't be discouraged if you die, as you've already seen it's only temporary. It sounds a uh, preserve, but death truly is the greatest teacher. See you around. Okay. Well. So I guess, uh... We have to go meet somebody. Tab is... This is my room. What am I doing, Pagan? I'm so used to E being like the, uh, op or F being the, uh, the open button. So we're gonna close the, close the room. Oh, we have a mini-map. Mmm, okay. Okay, okay. I don't wanna hide. I would rather search. Ooh, crafting? We have crafting in this game? Let's peek. Pretty just go in. Just go in. Oh! Well, that's her, that's, that's her room. I'm guessing this is like a... This is like a... Search kind of, Oh, wait, 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 we gotta... Oh, 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 oh. What did we just get? What does this do? Cures damage to caster. Spear twig, a tool... Nard magic twist somewhat hot to the touch. Snap it to become a spirit for five seconds. Spirits cannot be seen and completely invulnerable. That's what she used, right? Uh, an unnerving yet harmless child. A place to create a distraction or draw attention to something. Okay, so it's like a distraction. Okay, cool. You have anything cool? I was expecting to see you soon. Uh, let me give you a little gift and I'll ring mine. If you die in the dream, you'll lose most of your items. But some blessed items like this ring will survive from night to night. To thrive here, you ought to receive some, uh, some magic lessons from a friend. Uh, look for a chest with a numeral combination. You should find the combination nearby, perhaps. Encoded in simple uh, riddle. Something a decaying brain should... Okay. Okay, sweet. Sweet, 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 sweet. So there's a chest somewhere. Uh, permanent protective ring. Equip? Uh, uh, so, items can be lost. But I'm guessing if it has that red stamp, it means you could, like, keep it forever. Right? So, if you die, you lose some items. If it has the red stamp, it's protected. That's what I'm getting at. That's, one of the, that's, that's the lesson I'm learning here. Uh, let's peek. Oh, it's locked. Okay, sweet. Hello, Mr. Knight. Geek. Oh, here's the chest we were just talking about. Okay, well, we don't... <laughs> we don't actually... Ah! Oh, can I fight you? Okay. Yeah, we can fight. Oh. Okay, well... I'm gonna, I'm gonna beat your ass. I'm gonna beat your ass. Be sure... Okay, well, we... we, we okay, well... Uh... 
I didn't want to be known as a murderer. Healing items? Uh, corrupted finger? Oh. Corrupted. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. Then, right? It must be bleeding. Oh, we can assign the item. Oh, whoa. That's... Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Find the filthy... Okay, so we do have quests. Okay, so right now our quest is to find that. Uh, shbloink. Sweet. S search? Ooh, okay. Okay, 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 okay. Sweet. So we can't... Okay. So now we have first aid kit. I'm sure we're not gonna use it yet. We're not gonna use it yet. Uh... So, she did state that the code to this thing. Uh, okay. Foul intent filled uh, the streets of uh, Madonia. Mad Madonna? Madonna. In the morning, the city had seven barons, eight farmers, and five bakers. Next, three bakers shot themselves, and every baker murdered two farmers. On the following day, three barons jumped into their death. And Madonna, only a few barons, farmers, and... Okay, so... Three bakers shot themselves. Then every baker murdered two farmers. So, I'm guessing we'd have to subtract it. The code would be like four... Uh... Seven barons. Uh... Every baker murdered two farmers. Four... Four, two. Why did it take me so long? I just dumb. I'm just dumb, guys. Guys, I'm just dumb. Uh, permanent key. Uh, so we got the key to the cult. We, we can get the fuck out of here now. We can just stop peeking. Uh, I'm not bleeding, am I? No. Okay, sweet. So we just, we just, we can just go. We can just go. We can just go. We can just go. That, that, that's not searchable. Uh, 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 we can just go. We can just go. We'll peek in here. Oh, he's got a gun. I kind of want that. Can we take that from him? Kind of, I kind of want that gun. Perfect aim. Yeah. Yeah. Perfect aim. <laughs> he got ran up on. He didn't know what to do. I'm sorry. Oh my god. Uh, he got he got ran up on, and uh, had no idea what to do. Okay. Uh, press R. Let's see what is this. Um, gradually heals curse damage. Okay, so it's just curse damage. Okay. God, I I I I do not feel bad whatsoever. I. I ran up on that man. He, the, the, nothing. Yeah. Okay. Wait, absurd. Yeah, I, that looks like a medicine cabinet. Okay, so that's an antidote. Let's uh put that there. Put that there for now. I have to remember it's E to open. <laughs> we we ran up on that poor guy with a gun. He had ev every right to shoot us. I thought that was something. Okay. Yes. Must be poisoned. You gotta be poisoned to do this? Oh no. What is this? What is this room? Hello? Masked man. Spectacular, isn't it? Good evening. I'd introduce myself, but don't generally wear mask if they want to identify it. Uh, people don't generally wear mask if they want their identity to be known. I've been here so long, I can scare—I can scarcely remember who I was previously anyways. I've no longer had the patience to beat back uh, the ever-growing th throngs of animated corpses in the house. As such, I have become something of a merchant. I travel all sorts of goods, and my inventory is always changing. What is good is gold in this nightmare. Qu oh, he's a merchant. Okay. Um, what you got, man? Yes. 
Oh, but it costs eight. Or no, it costs... I have eight. I don't want to hurt you. Nothing. Melee ring. Oh. Quit. Can I equip more than one ring? I can. Sure can. Okay. Okay. We 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 want this man. This uh, this man has the grandfather clock key, which we want. We won't come back for. That's what we got here. Can I just can I just kill this man without like hesitation? Search the body. Healing. Oh, okay. We can go back for the ring. Uh, we can go back for that grandfather clock ring now. Uh, search. Yeah, this game's kind of fun. I'm not gonna lie. Empty jar. Empty jar. Empty jar. Oh, dude, that's like a buff. Where is it? Crafting. We can craft. Can be filled with various liquids. Okay. Sweet. 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 Uh. So we got lore. Wait, 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 I kind of, I, I want to go back for the key. I want to go back for the key. Uh, I want that grandfather clock key you have. I'm just looking at these items. Uh, that's actually kind of good right there. But we want this. Let's go back. Right? We want to go all the way back? I think. I think so. These doors were already open. Right? Oh. Oh! I'm sorry! Did that... What? Okay, uh, fuck me, I guess. Uh, use? Oh! Fight the man here? Oh! We saw his ass. We just saw his ass. What the fuck? Can I close this? How do I fight this man? Okay, I'm gonna guess I can't fight this man right now. Okay. <laughs> okay, okay, this man, uh, this man can't be fought. Oh, we have the library key now though. Okay, sweet. Uh, a table of uh, pressing wax. Ah, uh, hello. We can inspect this, though. Oh, hello. Oh, a new visitor to our dream. How exciting. It's the Filthy Wit Wrench. I don't have any- I don't have a name exactly, but most folk around here call me the Filthy Wrench. I consider myself a tutor of sorts in the occult arts. You seem like you would like uh, you would make a fine student. Before we get started, I have one small request, which you might find a bit off-putting. Would you bring me a corrupted finger? Yeah, I have one already. Yeah, okay, I appreciate this. Uh, yeah, here you go. Excellent. I won't ask you where you got it. Now, uh, what I like to do is eat the finger. Just kidding, people. <laughs> uh, such body parts are a valuable uh, commodity with uh, many uses in the dream, as in life. Uh, you see the stone shrine in this room? A curious ancient thing Place the finger onto its base and activate it. It'll help you remember items you might otherwise have forgotten each night. You find shrines like these throughout the mansion, just as no two people are alike. So are the shrines. Each one will require a different offering. Okay, 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 okay. Um, return to meet people once you've activated the shrine. Okay. Uh, yeah, I have another one. 
one remembrance slot. Could you, like, if I, what, what, 20 less damage? Uh, probably medkit, right? Well. So if I die, I'll remember this, I'm guessing. Right? I'm gonna guess that. Our next lesson will be casting of spells. You may be skeptical about the existence of magic in the real world, but there's no doubting its power in the dream. Hold this blue scroll, focus your attention on the seal, and imagine it breaking while you... The seal will break and the magic magical emerges and comes to an escape. The blue scroll is a protective spell giving you an invisibility suit of armor that will absorb. Using magic will cost one to become slightly cursed. The effects are numerous. Graying of the skin, increased awareness of paranormal activity nearby. Next, strange and horrific sights previously hidden will reveal themselves. Everyone has a tolerance of being cursed, which if it exceeds to lead to a rather rapid in internal rotting process. In that case, use a warding candle immediately to reduce your... Okay, so that candle we had, okay. Oh. What was it? What was, what was our magical item? Uh... So, what do you want me to do? It so happens I have an extra beginning scrim a grimoire you may have. Oh, that's where the- yeah, come see me when you're done. So there's crafting in this game, okay, okay. It's crafting, there's magic. Oh. Oh! Anyone opens it will be engulfed. What does this one do? That will absorb all his- until depleted! Okay. Well, that's really strong. Right? And these wax candles can do like summons a lifelike dummy of the caster which will attract any attention okay i'll just uh i'll just uh make those okay sweet uh boink no wrong i i wanted i wanted this Spoink. and then that one Spoink. so we have crafted uh, to continue your studies of the cult, you'll need to find the first witch in the basement. Here's the east wing stairwell key. Before heading, you might want to talk to Margaret Breck. She mentioned needing something down here first. Be warned that someone has tempered with the gas pipes in the basement. All lights are out. And the basement is not somewhere you want to be without a light. Oh, goodbye. Goodbye. Goodbye, lady. Goodbye. So I just... Okay, so uh, where was that candle she said I needed to use? I'm going to use this right now. And uh, cure myself of all negative magic. And we're gonna go find the, the lady, the winch. Sweet. Bruh, I hate these dang pictures moving like that. Uh, we've been through there. Uh, clearly we've been through there. Peak? Guessing we can go through here? Uh, search? More rewarding candles? Another sp Oh, what the fuck is that? You scared the- What the fuck? Spirit from- Oh! I'm using the- I'm using the, uh... I'm using the, uh, 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 uh stick. That's right, okay. Uh, 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 R. Okay. Can I kill that thing? I sure can. Oh, kill it, kill it, kill it before it kills me. I am poisoned, but it's fine. I have a lot of magical armor. Okay. Do we have tools? We have healing tools, right? Uh, to poison, antidote, yep. Use. Um, delicious. Stretch the body. Corrupted heart, it's an offering. Oh, we got another antidote. We're getting a lot of stuff here. We're getting kind of, kind of cracked at the moment. Kind of doing good. Can I remove the cover? Sure. I don't know what these mirrors do. 
But we're killing things left and right. But I guess we're good. But I guess we're doing good right now. Uh, go. She's in the basement. We got here. No, another melee ring. Get yoinked. Uh, corrupted ring with engraved. I'll just, I'll just equip it. Permanent light outfit. We see fifty percent curse rot damage. Oh. Receive two percent. Oh, ooh, 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 armor, actual armor. Oh, bro, we're okay. So that's the entrance. But remember, she's in the basement. I'm scared. Uh, do we have a light? I'm actually scared. Uh, we'll place the holy candle. Uh. Okay, so the holy candle does not do a uh, light. It, doesn't, it is not a light. The holy candle is not a light. Uh, and then we will pop one of these. Right? So then I should probably put this melee weapon right here. Like that. So then I can just quickly switch over to this. Right? Sweet. And then R. Oh. So what do you... What do you require? Another corrupted... You need, oh, you require two. Uh... Kind of like this tool. I'm not gonna lie. What, what do we want to remember? From back. Yes. Do we go melee? Do we go melee build? Kind of wanted to do magic, but I'm kind of kind of liking being a, a stealthy little bastard. Uh, hello. I swear the church was this way. Oh, he's a paladin. Oh, do forgive me. Sometimes I forget that I was a dismantled shadow world other than the real one. I am Vicar of St. Illy, the nearby par uh, or at least it used to be to near by. It feels like it's been so long since I've seen it. Never mind all that. You've been in the house recently, positively reeking with evil, wasn't it? As a warrior of Christ, I had once thought to save the poor souls in there. Now I wish to only escape. You may think it is cowardly, but spend a few more nights here and you'll see. Lamp? I see you're staying at my lamp. I would be happy to give it to you. But I need proof that you are a valiant warrior of Christ and not in a league with foul beasts in the house. Bring me a corrupted heart. Oh, I have one. Yeah, here you go. Here you go, homie. Excellent. You indeed are the worthy of lamp. Use it well. Uh, control. Oh! Uh, also, we have that uh, poison thing. I'm gonna go ahead and just use this real quick. Get rid of all our icky poison. So now we can go back down to the basement. W. Big W. Okay, sweet, sweet, sweet. We're making huge progress here. Uh, search. Uh, candle. Wrong room. Uh, sweet Millie Dead Girl, remember the trick, open and close the door three times, and step through the wrong room. Open and close the door three times. Open and close the door three times. One. Two. Three. Fuck am I? Oh. Okay. Yeah, this is we're definitely going to die here. We're definitely going to die if we go in there, right? I'm definitely gonna die if we go in there. 100%. 100%. 100%. 100%. That is, that is, a, that is an area we do not want to uh, go in. Wooden cannon useful. What, what are we trying to hide from? 
Oh, that man is on fire. That man was on. Oh, that man is like on on fire. Hide. Please hide. Plus 30 damage. Oh. Run, 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 keep running. Where's the next hiding spot? Can I use a first aid kit while in here? Oh, he didn't see me, right? Oh, 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 you. Uh, uh, heal. Okay. Can't just fight everything, right? Okay, I must. Okay, this man is almost dead. Kill him. I, I, if we kill him now. Kill. Uh, burning zombie. Okay. Ah, oh, another one. Hi, little homie. I'm guessing you're not gonna kill me, right? Oh. Oh, oh. We, we can't find them all. Okay. Uh, you've, uh, use a warding can- You're rotting from the inside. Well, okay. See, that's the issue here. I'm gonna use, uh, this key- Uh, this T. And, uh... An armored spell. Cannot use a armored spell until the cursed rot effect goes away. I think, I think I'm going to die. <laughs> Our first death, second death technically, right? Oh, wow! This game is not joking. This game is not joking. When you lose everything, you lose everything. So every 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 floor is different, right? That's what that's what makes this game is like right. Every floor is different. I have so many questions. Close. Strange. Yeah. Thank you. Ha. Huh? So so every every time you die, it's different. And if you die. You lose everything unless you have it remembered. Okay. Yeah, I'm guessing. That's what I'm gonna guess. That's what I'm getting at. Uh, yeah, the the withering rooms. We'll we'll we'll, we'll try to beat this game. Hundred percent. This game is interesting. It's weird, right? It's weird, but it's interesting. Interestingly weird. We like this game. Yeah. <laughs> this game is weird. I like it so far though. It has a weird, uh, different taste. So, like, it's like a mini rogue, almost. I like it. We'll see where this goes. If you guys like the video, like, comment, subscribe. If you guys are interested in more, um, subscribe. And, uh, we'll do more of this. Alright. Always remember to be a good person. Always be a good person. Bye.